I've always wanted to be a part of a, of a skateboarding team that meant more than just a check or just riding for a company because I needed boards or, you know, there's just more to it than that. We were so excited to be, you know, with cameras in the streets, able to document what we'd be doing. That was like the time of my life, getting to do what you love to do and not having to worry about too much except grinding rails. <laughs> I always used to look up at certain teams. The original Plan B team, they all seem really close together and like it just gives that a whole vibe and just like the idea of being part of something. You know? What do you think about Plan B? It'll last about a couple weeks and fall apart due to lack of good management. Doesn't really have a chance. The team's not that hot either. The building blocks of all street skating has been built over the last 20 years, and I think you know Plan B was a big participant in helping assemble all the modern day fundamentals of street skating. <laughs> I knew what street skating was, it had been developed, kids were into it, but now it was time for it to kind of shine. Plan B with their cast of riders and Mike Kanaski's vision was, was kind of right for what was going on. Danny Way, Matt Hensley, Mike Carroll, Don Shefty, Rick Howard, and that's it. Matt Duffy. Uh -huh. At the time, I figured it was either either you go to school and you get a job, or you go skateboarding and put full all your energy into that. And that was kind of a no brainer, you know. Best ride I've seen. Best ride I've seen. I especially like the flip of the board. Early '90s. All of a sudden, a lot of the skaters were running their own companies. So it was like the inmates taking over the asylum. What do we think is going to be cool? Let's do it. Yeah, Mike. Yes. Pal Peralta was here, and then Plan B became Pal Peralta in an underground way. Like they had the elements that Pal, Pal Peralta had as the best skateboard team, and their, their next goal was to make the best skateboard team. You mean to have your own zone for yourself? For the, sure. for the fellas, for everybody? Yeah. Oh. It's, it's a video for the fellas, you know. Yeah. All right. See you later. The meat and potatoes of the Plan B legacy was the videos they would put out. Every time they put out a video, it was mind blowing. But it wasn't about, you know, candy coated you know, a whole bunch of acting. It was about action. It was about serious stuff. They're kind of doing burly things, but they're also, you know, trying to add something else to it. You know, they would just take it one step further. Nothing was out of our reach in the sense of skateboarding. And if it was, there was the next guy. And if it wasn't that guy, it was the next guy. So as a team, it was always possible that we could achieve. Even when you watch them, those old videos nowadays, you can kind of see it's like, it's more than just like the skaters and the skill at the time. It's, there's something like intangible there. And I think Mike Ternansky obviously had a you know, huge part in that. That was the juice, dude, right there. That's in there for sure. Mike was one of those guys that he would know if somebody had that potential before anyone else could ever see it, you know? Just get mad, come out of tennis court, 360 all of this, and just get it over with. Yeah, Danny, that's clean. I leaned on him for pretty much everything, you know? And I was a kid that always usually had to fend for myself, but then I think I got pretty comfortable having Mike in my life because he did a lot of that stuff for me that other, you know, that I really wasn't used to having done when I was a kid. My dad died when, he was, when I was really young, and Dan didn't have a father either, so he was like kind of a father figure for me. For those that were younger than him, looking up to him, and he was playing their meta, 
it's huge, you know? And to have that person gone just like that, you know? Literally a, a left-hand turn by somebody wrong in a car. That's all it takes. When we seen them in the casket, I couldn't believe that it was really happening. At any time, I swore I saw him glitch and move. It was just me with my mental things that I wanted to see. And I was like, wow, this can't be real. With Mike passing, you know, like that was basically just the end of that plan B right there. Everything that happened after that until it was like, you know, laid to rest for a minute was, you know, to me doesn't even really count. For me to lose Mike at that time, it was a hard, it was, it was pretty hard for me to deal with it. Um, I felt pretty lost and confused and I didn't know what was gonna happen next. brought me was a phone call from Danny Way. Danny and Colin, I guess, had got together and started talking about restarting Plan B, bringing back the dream, awakening the giant. Danny and I were talking about it and we were like, you know, like, that would be cool, but we would only do it if we could get this list of dudes. I mean, when they picked that team, there was like some pretty heavy hitters on there. Rod, Tori, PJ, Duffy, Rather Desenzo, Felipe, Danny, Colin. They don't ask you to ride for Plan B unless they can already recognize that you already demand excellence of yourself. I'm on the team. Since day one, I was riding for Plan B. I was so hyped. Just came down my favorite dudes, you know? I'm psyched to skate with those guys and be working on a huge video, it's gonna be a part of history. These guys have put together the team. They've got the elite roster. Pro skaters make their money off of shoe companies and energy drink sponsors and bigger contests even now. But it's like your board company, that represents your personal identity in a way that none of the other stuff does. We had team meetings back then, we have team meetings now. You know what I mean? Trying to emulate the old plan B, you know, which we do. Give it a shot, you know? So yeah, I believe uh, MT would be proud of what we got going on. With the history or the legacy of our prior videos and being questionable, our first video, we haven't had a full length video with our team, and I think our team is a team that would mirror the team we had originally when we launched Plan B, but in a modern day way. I might be crazy, but I think that we do have the formula to make a video that should be historical like the original Plan B video was.